So I typically do this kind of video about once a year, sometimes twice a year, because technology changes and you guys have probably seen that already. So as you're getting into this field, what are the top technologies that you should be learning to gain an advantage over somebody else or just to be up to date, period? These are the technologies that are going to make a huge difference. Now, before we get further into this video, if you wanna support this channel, head over to itpro.tv. They offer amazing quality training over there. Use the coupon code ITCQ30. It saves you 30% off your membership over there. And I know that those guys can be very helpful for you. As we've all experienced in the last few months, the entire world has been a complete cluster. Things have just been crazy. And you've seen that many of the jobs within technology have been going to a work from home type of position, which is great news for a lot of people out there. However, for you guys out there who are looking to break into this industry or really just grow your career in general, what are the things that are really going to make this difference? And we're gonna start off with number one, and that's gonna be cloud computing. As you guys probably have seen, I'm studying for my AZ 900 exam right now, which is the Azure Fundamentals exam. This is something that I'm super excited about. And for you as somebody who may be starting out in this field, an AZ 900 or any other cloud-based certification can be extremely beneficial to you and your career. Cloud computing is everywhere. It seems like all of the applications are going to the cloud or there's an as a service for everything out there nowadays. So just understanding general cloud concepts can be something that will really help you further your career or even get into this field because of so many of these organizations, businesses, enterprises going to the cloud. So understand how the cloud works, start to learn how you can implement yourself into something like Azure or AWS or even the Google Cloud Platform. One thing that we could say for sure is the cloud isn't going anywhere. And as of now, it's just going to continuously grow beyond belief. It's going to be huge. So make sure you guys are learning the cloud. Now, before we go further into this, I think it's important to note that some of the previous videos that I've done on this have covered Many of the same things that I'm gonna talk about today because these are the technologies that continue to grow or these are the areas within the information technology field that continue to grow and continue to need more skilled workers. So the next one on the list, of course, cybersecurity. I mean, you guys probably saw it coming, right? I'm sure you have. But the fact is we need more security focused individuals in this field. And you don't have to want to work within cybersecurity to at least have a general understanding of how you can secure your network, secure your devices, or just to have that general understanding of what is good versus what is bad, if you will. So understanding cybersecurity at even a fundamental level is going to be helpful for you. So going out and getting something like CompTIA Security Plus is going to be something that's gonna be extremely beneficial to you as well. That's one certification that CompTIA offers that really stands out above the rest when it comes to security fundamentals. So make sure you guys at least look into it and understand some of the different concepts within the security world. There's so much to understand and I, I know that and I, I believe me, the Security Plus was a hard exam for me to take. As you probably know, I failed it the first time, I passed it the second time. I have talked to many other people within this industry who have gone for their Security Plus to have said, it's one of the hardest exams that they've ever taken because there are a ton of general concepts to understand, but much of that information will be helpful for you. And if you wanna go past the Security Plus, I know there's gonna to be tons of you guys out there who are gonna say, well, I wanna work in cybersecurity, what certification should I take? And the fact of the matter is like, you have to understand what you wanna do within the security field. So first things first is understand the entire realm of cybersecurity. And then from there, you can really dive into a specific area within security. There's blue team, there's red team, there's purple team. 
There's so much involved in this field of cybersecurity that it's really important that you take the time to understand the different types of roles and different types of job duties that exist in that field. So make sure you guys look that up before you say, hey, I wanna work in cybersecurity. What security certification should I get? Well, it really depends on what exactly you wanna do in cybersecurity. But I could tell you for sure, one of the best certifications that you could start off with if you wanna work in cybersecurity, it's the Security Plus. Now the next one I think is really important. This is something that's going to help you, especially if you're a remote worker or you are tasked with to do many things, it can really help kind of reduce your stress. It could help maybe do some of your tasks much faster. It really can just help automate your process. And I hope you got what I said there. I'm gonna automate your process. So automation, scripting. Scripting is such a huge thing to learn and it's really not as difficult as it sounds. Now you guys should be like, well, I don't wanna be a programmer and I don't wanna learn programming. Well, scripting is definitely very close to programming in many ways, but like real programmers will yell at you if you say like PowerShell is programming. So, so don't say that. PowerShell, Python, Bash, that's all scripting. And what we mean by scripting is say for instance with PowerShell, you could take PowerShell and you can write a script out that can help you implement hundreds of users into your Active Directory environment. Or let's just picture this for instance, instead of going into the actual Active Directory users and tools um, UI console thing, you and creating a user, you could actually just go into PowerShell and create a script so that you could pull up the script every time you need to create a user and you're only filling out information for this user within PowerShell and it will implement everything into Active Directory for you. It makes it much easier to do, honestly, and you could do this at scale. So you could do this for hundreds, if not thousands of users if you need to. You can also disable accounts, add, user, add groups to user accounts. There's so much that you could do with PowerShell outside of Active Directory even, and then that's not even talking about Bash and Python. These are scripting languages that you can learn to really help automate any type of process, whether it's backups, whether you're trying to truly create some type of automation within your new environment. Learning scripting is just gonna be something that really helps make your job much easier. And the quicker you start learning this, the more it's going to make sense as you're working in this field and gaining experience, how often you can take whatever you're doing, and find a way to make that process easier through automation. Between cybersecurity, scripting, and of course cloud computing, I think those are three of the biggest things that you could be really putting a lot of focus on to really have a huge advantage over other people in this field. I know times are crazy and things are just completely weird right now, but these are three of the top technologies or top skills within technology that you should be learning to really make a big difference over somebody else who is trying to get in this field as well. If you guys are really trying to make a difference, learn these things, really dive deep into some of them because these are going to be the things that really will stick out for you on your resume. Now, of course, there are other skills out there that could definitely help you out a ton, and just understanding some fundamentals about them will be helpful. And just to give you a short list, that would be stuff like remote desktop or remote desktop type software. VPN software is going to be a huge one as well. Just learning and understanding how a VPN tunnel is created and how that connection gets established and what it means when you actually connect to a VPN within an enterprise environment and what happens from there. Those types of things are really important to understand. So make sure you guys take the time, learn some of these things because they are going to help you gain an advantage like we said multiple times in this video. If you guys have other technologies that you think people should be learning, throw them in the comments below. This is a community and we are all here to help you or help each other. That's what this is all about. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you appreciate it. And as always, take it easy.